Okay. Hey y'all, it's Miss Amy coming to you live from my kitchen because what else is new? Uh, before we get started, uh, I just want to say I am a mom with an iPhone, so go easy on me, Facebook. Um, so, oh my god. This is the first time I've seen it from this angle. Uh, this is a new cut that Jeanette did, and I just said, I don't want to look like I'm from Orlando, and guess what? I look like I'm from Orlando. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I just want to address a lot of the hate and negativity that I've seen posted on social media lately, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat. And um, I was talking to one of the middle school classes I substitute, and I was like, where's the positivity? And the kids were like, you should make a meme, you should make a meme. And I said, the only thing memes have in common with world peace is that they both begin with me. Uh, which is just something cute I read. Um, but it did get me thinking, let's start with me. Uh, let me put a little bit of happiness and a little bit of unity out into the world if that's the change I want to see in our country. Uh, so, I'm just going to share a story of something I did that inspired me, um, and I hope it inspires you to reach across the aisle for someone that you thought was different, who could be a new friend. Um, so, the other night, uh, Tyler and the kids were camping out of state, and I was home alone, and I knew that we had a new neighbor moving in across the street, and the rumor was that he was not from this country. Uh, that he was an immigrant and people were very cautious about this whole thing that's kind of a fraught topic uh, at least in our state and um, and I you know I was silent about it I didn't know what to make of it uh, but I'd say around like re really right around midnight uh, I did hear a moving truck across the street and it was a big long black truck and instantly I could tell that our new neighbor came to this country with nothing because the only thing that came out of that truck was a big, I mean, I'd say like a coffin sized box. And he kind of hoisted it onto his back and brought it in the house by himself. And, you know, I was sitting by the window looking through the blinds and I don't know what got into me. Tyler would have killed me, but I, I just opened the window and I shouted out across the street, hey, which I just sort of feel like is a, a universal hello. And this gentleman turned around and I said, come over here. And he floated over on a bed of mist and we got to talking and I could have gone down two roads. One road, I could have said, he doesn't look like me. He clearly doesn't worship in the way I do. He's only wearing a black shroud wrapped around his body. Uh, but I took the other road and I asked him about himself, and y'all, he is so sweet, and so cute, and so single, Dina, and um, his name is Dimitri the Forsaken, and he did come to this country looking for a bride, which I think is so romantic and very European, and I just said it. I said, do you want to come over tomorrow night for a tortilla pizza? And he said, I can't do his accent, but he was like, is that an invitation because I can't enter your home unless I'm invited explicitly? And I said, yes, it's an invitation and thank God chivalry's not dead. And he kind of cringed when I said God, but I think that's just a faith difference. Um, and he came over and we had so much fun and I just, I felt this weight lifted off my shoulders. And I'm so grateful to have done something to bring a little more unity to my life and a little more togetherness. Um, and I just wanna challenge all of my friends, uh, all of my kids' friends, who I know a friend of Miss Amy on Facebook, cause I'm a fun mom. And uh, reach, find someone different and reach for them. Be the light in their life, be the connective tissue in your neighborhood. And then I think we're gonna see a different sort of America that we can all get on board with. Um, and it started with me. That's it, y'all. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to monopolize your time. Oh, before I forget, quick prayer request. Last night, I did have a bit of an animal invasion. A bat got into my house, bit my neck, and the wound is still bleeding. But um, things are great. 
Uh, have a happy Labor Day. Best to you and your families. Gobble, gobble. And uh, Miss Amy loves y'all. Bye.